Then I'm gonna come in and do my next little border. And then my next back piece. This is just a quarter inch seam line. No. Old, no anything. I don't like pressing quarter inch hems. They're a lot of work. But that seam line in there is going to help encourage this fabric to fold. So along that seam line, it's going to be pretty happy to fold. So we're going to do a double fold hem. And just gently encouraging that to fold into that nice quarter inch hem that we need at the end. So who wants to get their fingers that close to a hot iron? First little bit of the next one folded. Pause for a moment. Back pieces are ready to go. We're not quite at the back pieces, um, but we'll just pop over to the iron station for a moment. Um, we do need to press these seams as we go. I've got an OSD press cloth here so that I can press my embroidery uh, face side down and not crush my velvet and not crush um, all my cute embellishments on there as well, but we do need to press these seam allowances um, just a little bit. Roll that to the outside, to the border. And the press cloth is going to protect both our embroidery and that velvet from, from being crushed while we iron it. Oftentimes I'd get in here with a clapper and put some more heat on this um, to press those seams super flat. I'm not going to do that with the velvet in there. But then I'm ready to go add my other border pieces. One more border piece left in the boat here somewhere. Oh, sorry. Miss, miss sew, sewing that one with you guys.
thread cutter. Take that back to the iron. Some wonder clips. Found the bucket of wonder clips. Set. It's not looking adorable. So for the envelope closure, um, generally on an envelope closure, you'll want the uh, top to overlap the bottom when you turn it right side out, which means right sides together, we're gonna put the top down first, uh, right side down, and then the bottom. And those are just gonna overlap our actual project. And then when you flip this right way out, we will have uh, everything where we need it. And all we have to do at this point is sew all the way around the outside of our project. And we'll do this from we'll do this from the wrong side of the front because our envelope closure pieces are just a wee bit bigger than we need them to be. If depending how much, how accurate you are on your seam allowances, they're probably just a wee bit bigger than you need them to be. So flip that over. I'm gonna sew all the way around a uh, quarter inch seam allowance from the outside edge of those outer border pieces. making sure that we catch uh, all the layers of our uh, envelope closure on the back. And most of your presser feet um, will have markings for quarter inch so you can stop a quarter inch away from the edge of quarter inch away from the edge of your corners. stitch. There we go.
back at the beginning, overlap just a little bit. Just had one little rim ripple up under my back and bottom envelope closure piece. However, that's going to be well and truly underneath underneath my project when I'm done. And then this is ready to turn right sides out. So to turn our project, uh, we're going to use Anne's thumb turning corner. Uh, the instructions in your demo December file will say to clip the corner. Uh, that will not be what you want to do. That will make you unhappy, to say the least. Um, because it's quite likely that you will um, uh, weaken the corners and then it just won't be good. Um, so with uh, clipping the corners, uh, there's already no uh, batting in that seam allowance, or there really shouldn't be. So I'm going to go thumb side up, thumbnail up on my non-dominant hand. Thumbnail all the way into the corner, and then I'm going to fold back on that seam allowance and fold a beautiful 90 degree corner and turn it out that way. Do that on the close up cam. So, thumbnail up. Go in there. Hold a nice 90, transfer it from my thumbnail to my fingernail, and do that with all four corners. Hold right on those seam lines, and we'll poke out that nice 90 degree corner. You don't weaken the fabric by removing a whole bunch of fabric in the corner, You're not getting in there with something sharp and poking through the corner. You'll be a very happy sewist indeed with beautiful corners. When we get that all turned, I will be able to go back in, give this one more little press. Um, the images in the demo December file actually show a binding on this project, not um, a turned pillow with the envelope closure. So that is why you don't see that extra um, border in there. If that is something you wanted to add, you could sew uh, wrong sides together for that envelope closure and you could put a binding on it. Um, in my head, that's a little more work than I wanna do. Um, quick, easy gift the way it is. So I'm gonna leave it as is. Thank you so much for joining us for Demo December. We look forward to seeing you in other Kimberbell projects, other embroidery classes coming up um, through the new year. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye.